hi guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing and today we are going to be doing baseball card team B so I am going to first of all give you an update I found um, this K Bear Ruiz who I honestly think is better than Alex Jackson right in the front of my book Look, wow. So he is going to be our starting catcher. Alex Jackson is going to be our second catcher. So just wanting to quickly do that. Um, so let's get started with the base team. I should call it team two. And I'll show you the left side. The left side is the players who just didn't make it and the right side is the players who like weren't going to make it from the start of like where I'm going to put them. So um, our first card is this Brandon Lau, second baseman slash outfielder for the Tampa Bay Rays. I'm going to put him on the left side because he is, um, just didn't make the cut. He just didn't. He almost did, but he just didn't. And our next one is formal top pick Austin Beck for the Oakland A's. Uh, he's been a disappointment to most of you fans and in the minors, but honestly, I think he's starting to develop some pop in that speedy bat table. Here's Victor Mesa Jr. He came to the US with his brother, Victor Mesa, Victor, Victor Mesa. Victor, Victor Mesa signed for the most money but he's been pretty much a bust. So, yeah, let's move on to center field where we have Harrison Bader in center field as our starting center fielder. Well, for at least this team. Now we have Oscar Mercado. For the Cleveland Indians, he finished 7th, I think, in Rookie of the Year voting last year. Um, this is Garrett Hampson, who is a um, center fielder. He can play pretty much any position. He's super fast. And I think he's going to be one of the really speedy, low OPS players that break breaks out like Byron Buxton did this season and I'm so sorry for the twins like they had everything going right but I guess the Astros are just too good now let's get into left field where we have on the, the left Jeff McNeil and now we have another now we have our right part of right field as Arsenius Aquino, who played like uh, Delano DeShields Jr. Uh, did the second half of his first season, and I don't think he had a very good year, so. Cole Tucker. Um, you guys might not know this, but he was the older brother of Carson Tucker, who in this year's draft was drafted by the Cleveland Indians. Now let's move over to first base. We have Mitchell Chavis. Oh, and by the way, guys, Brandon Lau, um, Garrett Hampson, Jeff McNeil, and Cole Tucker were all in their secondary positions, as long as well as Michelle Chavis is. 
now we have um this boosted he is not the best yet he is still a boosted card the only reason why he makes this list is because he is a uh he has like an upgrade and he is i don't know how to put it he's okay and he this is one seventeen out of 250 in the world so i mean it's a good rarity but still i don't know so there we go um brandon rogers is going to be our second base thing he is another one of those um, middle infielders for the Colorado Rockies that is coming up. If you guys didn't know, he is a former top pick. And he was looking to go to the Arizona Diamondbacks because they were just so bad. That year that they got the number one overall pick, it was 2014. But he ended up falling to the number three spot in 2014. And 15 draft because it goes after the next year and I was just like amazed because like how does this guy go from being a former top pick to having five years of minor league experience and still having not making a rookie um like not rookie appearance but like a rookie i don't know how to say it it's like a whatever i'll just yeah next we have luis urias who came over to the milwaukee brewers on a trade now we have nicky lopez who the only reason why he's on this list is because he has future value according to mlb.com that I don't think is true, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, now we have a pretty small position, to say the least. Um, I want to put one of these guys at like third base, but honestly, we only have one true third baseman, and that's... Austin Riley, and he's sort of in his secondary position. So we only have two shortstops and two third basemans. Uh, three of them are shortstops, and one of them is an outfielder, but they're all in their secondary positions. You have Katie Grenier to start this off. A surprise um, CBA pick competitive balance round a pick and I think he has been quietly pretty good he's always going to be known for his glove that's always what's going to be happening but I think he's been doing pretty good and now we have Kevin Newman As our next shortstop and yeah that's that's the shortstops the first third baseman is Nico Horner a surprise first round pick but he has shown more signs of being better than at first so I think that is a plus and our last third baseman is Austin Riley. He started off his rookie year in 2019 really hot with like 13 home runs in about 20 games. But then he sort of cooled off and he ended up with 18 home runs in 56 games or something. And yeah. Uh, let's move on to the pitching. Um, 
So our first pitcher is Jack Flaherty. He is yeah, our starting pitcher. Our second pitcher is Chris Paddock. Our third pitcher is Brian Mata. Um, so he spent a year in the Dominican Republic League. Uh, and Dis Medea. He is a pitching prospect for the Phillies. And last but not least, we have Leo Crawford, who is unranked on the top 100 by MLB.com for the Los Angeles Dodgers, but he seems to be a pretty good pitcher. And our one bullpen arm, since we have all of them over there in the other, in Team A, is Elvis Lucchini. Um, an outfielder, an infielder is going to be our DH because, I don't know, there really is no DH. Uh, all the other DHs are taken. So yeah, it's going to be our DH and our catcher is um, a base card, JT Ralamuto. Um, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy this content. Please tell me in the comment section down below if you like this or not. I won't be keep doing the, these videos if I don't get to like 10 views combined on all of these. So, if you can't get me that to that on by um, next week, um, Monday, uh, I think I'm going to have to say that this was not a success. But, you know what? If some of you guys call me out and are like, hey, I like this, then go ahead. Call me out. So... I was looking through my baseball cards and I have an update. I learned that um, Scott Kingery can play third base. So I moved him over to third base and Ronald Guzman is going to be our starting DH. So, yeah.